G'day guys, how we doing? Welcome back to another video of Westland Survival. How we doing? I hope you guys are well. So, we are going to complete this Thanksgiving Battle Pass. Yes, we are pretty much all wrapped up and done. And at the time of this recording, we had a bit over three days left to go. So, well and truly, by the time that this video goes up, that we will have the actual event done and dusted. Probably, maybe about a day or so by, by my count, I think. But, like I said, it's not that far away from finishing off. So, which is a good thing because... I want to continue on and focus on some other things as well and we'll put it this way by then we'll be into December by the time that happens and with that being said well the final update for the year it's probably going to be a Christmas update I know the devs threw it, chucked in a update 8.4 which is all well and good so they did that which is great uh, to carry us through in parallel with the Thanksgiving update which is good I'm glad they sort of did that because it just gave us a little bit more extra content and, and other little bits and pieces to, um, you know, to uh, get accustomed to and, you know, take advantage of before the Christmas update. So I'm, I'll be keen to see what the Christmas update looks like as well. Hopefully, if it's anything like the Halloween update, hopefully we'll be in for a bit of a treat, but time will tell. So what I need to do is I need to do one final daily quest, which we're going to do the West Star. Once we've done that, we're going to complete it, and then we're just going to finish off the rest of the actual um, battle pass itself. So, I've got two more wild horses heading over. Let's get, get into this as well. So, stages 1 through to 18, I think it is. Is it 18? Yeah. I, did the, I completed that nearly a week ago now, or well, close to it. But for the entire period, last video, if you guys didn't see it, check it out. Digger's Den uh, destroyed that. Great. Killed two warriors. Cooked tier six dishes or drink 50 out of 50. Gathered a thousand any type of log. Cannon trials. Well, I wasn't going to get to do that, unfortunately. So that's one thing that we, um, well, for me, I don't think it was just within my, within my empowerment to actually get up to 150 cannon trial waves. Look, it can be done. I mean, you got to do it at least, what, five times over, give or take, if I've done my math right something like that but anyway to get to the 150 so that means clearing up to level 30 each time in doing so so doing that requires a lot of equipment so for me I just don't think it was just going to be something that I would get to do and wasn't going to be sustainable and the other thing is the uh, steel destroyer of 110 or higher which is uh, there's only one known variation of the steel destroyer and they are level 110 anyway so yeah that's it and then obviously the daily quest is what we're about to finish off today which is hopefully it should be an easy one for us to get through we should be able to get through this quite quickly um all right so ooh, yo. oh damn okay forgot to do that of course lucky me there we go um now because i've actually got extra hot clothing that it's only a 46 minute buff wow normally it's three hours for a standard standard which is hilarious to think that but anyway it's all good now it's actually good that we've come through this way as well because hopefully there should be some chromite for me to um uh, to harvest and you guys know me enough i just don't cr um, harvest enough chromite to save my life so yeah hopefully we'll um we'll get a few bits and pieces whilst we're going along and, and as we're sort of you know i guess conducting our shenanigans and you know running around and stuff like that. We've got Twister as well. Twister's a very loyal pet to us and has been my best pet <laughs> since, um, well, since me ever acquiring. Hello, what are you guys up to? Out of here, thank you, and thank you very much. Oop, no, don't, don't shoot, we don't need to shoot. Okay, hey guys, there you are. What's going on? I'm just gonna stick myself right here, so hopefully all three of you guys can gang up on me. And I can do the the spread shot. Hello. Boom. Well, it didn't get all three of you at once, but that's okay. There we go. And last thug. Thank you very much. Alright. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, buddy. Get up. Yes, tell me. Thank you. And we shall get onto that in a moment. But I, I do want to get and find some chromite before we get out of here. Because it's just a waste of trip if I don't do it. And I'm sure you guys would agree with me 
in saying that too. So I just really want to find all of the good stuff. Where is it? Hey, get out of here. I hope that doggy should run away. That Jaguar will leave me alone. Actually, you know what? Give me a... Give me your hide, mate. Actually, give me that too. I will take all of that. Now, with, via the process of elimination and me running through the zone here, it looks like the last area that I haven't seen should give me everything that I need. Hopefully. Or otherwise, I've been jibbed. I've been absolutely jibbed. Really? It's normally around here that all the stuff, all the goodies are around. Here. Why? Why aren't you? Oh well, this is a waste of time for me, isn't it? Massive waste of time. Is there another canteen here? I'm a stickler for taking all the canteen- Oh, hey, out of here. Yes, yes, yes. Um, no, okay, whatever. Let's continue on. Yeah, where, where, where are the- where are, where are those nodes? Wow. Okay. There's just a whole bunch of granite here. Granite that I don't need. Fair enough. Fair enough. It is what it is. Wow, you are way over there. Okay, that's fine. We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll take out the, um, the boss man and we'll continue on our merry little way. Wow, that was a real disappointment. Normally you'd get, you know, a few pieces here and there and just, you know, do what you got to do after that. It's a bit of a disappointment. Okay, well, let's just continue on and go along our way here. Actually, one thing I wanted to ask as well, now, I'm recording my videos back to back, so from the previous video into the current video. So, I finished off the Diggers Den previously, and I jumped right into this to complete this off. Now, I had a little issue, well, I wouldn't say issue, but I had a concern. And that involved the tier 6 gear, and I felt... In my in my humble opinion, I felt like it actually deteriorated quite quickly. So I was using the uh, the Klondike outfit just for reference, right? Which is which I felt was you know enough or something that I wouldn't have had to change clothing throughout the last uh, the the last boss battle. So I thought you know oh hello Mr. Steel Gun Destroyer, gotta get out of the way, continue to shoot him. Thank you very much, and let's continue on and taking out this shooter. Thank you very much. Cool. Now that does bring me up to 16 as well out of 20. But again, like I said, I'm not going to bother doing that. I'm just going to finish it off. Anyway, going back to my story. So yeah, Klondike outfit. That's a tier six. Even at a, at a level one, which I which is what I had, right? I had a level one blueprint, level one. Sorry, to clarify. And the stats on that were basically outpacing the sheriff's outfit for me and even though I've got you know blueprints invested into the the sheriff outfit it was still the better well on paper the better outfit to go with being the Klondike and I only just got through halfway before it could just about completely deteriorated before I had to think about swapping out clothing and finishing finishing off that part of the quest well, you know, finishing off Juno at that point in time. So, the question that I want to ask you guys is, what is the best um, kit of armor that's available for the general amount of players that have played this game? I know there's going to be some epics in there, here and there, and I'm sure that people are going to suggest epic armor. <coughs> Excuse me. So, that might be a thing, that's fine, but for the non-epic related armor, what do you guys use? Do you guys use the Sheriff Tier 5 Rare Outfits? Do you use Tier 6 anything? Or do you use something completely different? And I want to know. Because I just want to work it as um, from an efficiency point of view. That I don't need to bring as much gear as I do. Because I feel like I bring a lot of gear. And yeah, I just don't know if if I'm doing it inefficiently. That is my issue. That is my, my, my leading concern. So yeah. Drop it in the comments, guys, because I'll be keen to know what the answers are going to be. Alright, so this is done. We finished this off. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to skip. So, the first skip I've done for the entire period, which is normally at 250. 
and then the steel destroyer which is going to be 500 which i've just done and that's basically everything and that includes as i mentioned the daily stuff so i haven't touched any of this <laughs> excuse me purposely because i wanted to see how this all goes and you know take things from here what i'm really interested in seeing is the repair kits so basically this gives us a durability recovery of 10 percent so this is going to give us a hundred percent recovery on one given item so that's on uh so gear except epic one so that's basically the the restriction so that's going to be interesting and then then we've got an epic repair kit there you have it okay and then everything else is pretty standard we get ourselves a, a little um a little turkey as well so curl mcfeathers so we'll have him and i think that's about it we've got some epic stuff we've got some weaponry and things like that of that nature so let's go ahead and go back to the tasks collect all that takes me up to level 19 out of how many levels we've got 20. so basically the everyday stages only get you up to 19 so the last two stages this is where you need the entire period tasks to complete collect all and that pretty much sums that up so there we have it so i want to collect you first Del deliver to the mailbox so i want to take you and now do you just use are you where are you now where'd you go where'd you go turkey i don't know what that did what did that what, what did that do? I thought he was he's gonna be a I thought he was a pet for my ranch. Yes? No? Hello? Curly McFeathers Where are you? Are you here? Okay. Well no twist is just running around like crazy. I don't know where he went. Are you in here? Pets. No. I don't know what I did. Did I eat him? Surely not. I don't know what I did. I just pulled the trigger. I just pulled the trigger and that was it. Okay, I don't know where you are. And I'm worried. I'm worried for my pet turkey. I wanted a pet turkey. Where is my pet turkey? Hang on. Hang on. Go into this. Pet turkey. Are you here somewhere? I've got a lot of rabbits around here too, by the way. Um. Hello? I honestly don't know where you are. I think I consumed him. I am leading to believe that is the case. I don't know. I'm, I'm all sorts of confused right now. Right, okay. Okay. I had a turkey. And now it's gone. Well, that's fun. Very much fun. So, a couple of other things here. Well, let's just quickly go back to this. What is it? Noble Turkey comes complete with his own cozy nest made of a wooden box and some hay. So, it is a pet. Where are you? I don't know where you are. Or is it a project? It might be a project. But I want to grab these. Just so I can show you guys all of this as well. Okay, so let's go back. Projects? No? Furniture? Turkey pen. Oh, okay. All is saved, guys. All is saved. That's how you do it. So for anyone that was worried, if you do complete all this and you want to know where your pet turkey is going to be, I'm going to stick him here. Just so I've got, I've got him next to my rabbit. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Crisis averted. There's Curly McFeathers. 
And I've got Sheriff Snuffles. I've got two of these fellas. Look at you guys. I think you're stuck. I think you are stuck. Let me put you in a different area. Maybe just here. Okay. Now yeah, you can walk around. You good? Hey. See? Okay. Look. I'm happy now. I am happy now. Anyone that's worried about a pet turkey as much as I am, I've got to salute you guys. But anyway, let's continue on. Let's open up this. Where are my... Hang on. Again. Didn't I just... Oh no, they, they, they go straight to the mailbox, of course. God. I'm really out of sorts here today. So let's grab this, let's grab this, let's grab this, let's grab that, let's grab this. Okay, so let's go here. This gives me max 700 health as opposed to just 15 plus damage. I think, <coughs> excuse me, in the grand scheme of things, I should probably take that versus the damage because the damage is very negligible compared to that of 700 health. So I would take that over the, this, and the am amulet, blah, blah, the amulet of the guardian. I've had this for the longest time, probably at least two, three years, easy. So this is the first time that I've actually sacrificed this for something else. So that is saying something. I've also got the Hunter's Luck that gives me the 5% chance to kill an um, animal instantly, but of course 500 health. And then I've also got the max health for from the Ring of the Spirit Master. And that gives me 500 health and 150 against Ghost, um, which is an increase. So right there, I've got about 1700 of additional uh, HP. And then I've got 506 out of that, which is huge. If I take out, oh no, I can't actually do this exercise. What I wanted to do real quick is just quickly show you and just sort of demonstrate if I were to take everything off and just show you what I'm sort of left with. But as you can see, I've got so much stuff that I can't actually dump it in a hurry. So let's just quickly dump some of that. And I'll dump that for now, just for the purpose of this exercise. I know I'm just fluffing around now, guys, but let's quickly have a look. Take out all of this. Take out that. Take out that. Now, I do also have food buffs as well. So the food buff is 500, 500, and 300. So that gives me about, what? That's 800 minus 3,100. That's roughly about 2,365 if I did my math right. And that's without any buffs. They're all, that's with including buffs, whether that be points into, uh, what do you call it? Into, well, no, there's, there's no health um, properties here with this, so that's fine. What I'm sort of trying to get at is, that also includes the, the first time buffs that you use for food and stuff like that as well. So you can actually see how much buffs go into how much HP you can actually have as a player. I just thought that was interesting to know. So we've got this. I really don't want to use this on anything, but it restores durability item to any um, from any tiers from one to six. And I, I'm really scared about actually touching these. So how do I do this? Oh, okay. So that's how that works. I'd rather use the rare than than the um, than the actual um, the epic. So what, what we're looking at here, and if you guys can see it on screen, you've got my current durability of my guns and my armor, and you can see a little white line. The, the white line represents the repair status or where it's going to repair up to for the, um, for the use of that repair kit. Now, obviously, I'm not going to use that, but I just wanted to sort of give you guys an idea on how this looks like. This is the first time that I'm seeing it myself. So at least this way, you guys get a bit of an idea on how this all works. So again, definitely not going to use that. And then if I do the epic, it doesn't really change the fact because it's still 10%, right? So again, just to sort of emphasize that, it doesn't really change that much. So there you have it. Now, if you, excuse me, if you had to use these repair kits, and you can only use them realistically on singular items. So a an armor kit wouldn't cut the mustard, I don't think. Because let's say, for example, you've nearly destroyed Let's say this was a tier six epic and it's nearly done. And in order for you to get up to, so, so you had like one durability left. You'd have to go through all of those 10 
repair kits in order for you to completely get it back up to 100%. So that is not an effective way of using those uh, these type of repair kits as it stands at the moment. So if you had to use it, you probably want to use it on your best weaponry, potentially, if you had to. But even, even having said that, I'll be very hesitant in using it myself. So I don't know whether or not if this is something that you just want to use, you know, you know willy-nilly, casually. I would have to really methodically th think, when do I want to use these? There would have to be something that would force my hand to use these. Right now, I, don't, I can't think of anything. So therefore, I'm not going to use them. And I'm going to hang on to them until I absolutely need to use them. Or if there's a purpose that's going to give me any sort of edge or whatever, then I'll consider using them. But for now, and because they're technically not in the game to craft, they're in the game for us to use, providing that you complete this battle pass, but they're not there readily available to be used in any other shape, form, capacity. So I would say that these will pop up somewhere in the tool bench or possibly the detail bench are going to be the only two places that I can think of where these things would be made available. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, once made available, I'll be interested to see what the repair, sorry, what the, the, the recipe will be. I would say because it's a repair kit, it's going to be a mixture probably of fasteners, maybe gun parts, and then, whoop, no, that's not where I wanted to go. And I would say tool parts. It'll be a combination of those. And if I had to do it, it'll probably any, be anywhere from, you know, one to three per unit. Or there might be a mixed combination. Or what I would love to see is, could they, or could the, the devs make repair kits variable? And what I mean by that is from 10 to say 50% as an example. That could be an interesting thing. I don't know how they'll do it or how they'll pull it off, but it's just a suggestion. It's something that I would probably, you know, think that might be a good way of doing it. But then what happens to the repair bench itself, the actual, the physical repair bench? Does that become an obsolete item? Because you've got these repair kits. I guess the repair kits in a sense would be something that you could utilize when you're on the go as a mobile thing. So it saves you from coming back to your base, repairing, and then go back out again. So I guess there's going to be pros and cons with these repair kits. So I'll be interested to know what your thoughts are around this. And yeah, I mean, look, it's it's an interesting thing. So I don't know exactly how that's going to happen. Or will, or let's say, for example, will the repair bench change as we know it? And we're required to put in repair kits into the bench to repair items. That could be another thing as well. I don't know. Yeah, that could be it. Uh, and there could be more durability on that. I'd like to I'd like for that to be an option. I know as we I know as we demonstrated before, you directly use the repair kit on your item as you on your person. So I'm just sort of thinking, you know, an an evolved version of this. Who knows? That's just my opinion and my suggestion alone. But let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section down below. So let's see what we've got here. We've got a couple of chests with um, one with two with pet modules. So let's see what we get out of this. This gives me consumption by wolves and this will give me... Um, okay, so fermentation regulator, 30 plus damage to lured boars, which I'm never going to use. And then we've got gears. Let's see what we get. Okay, and the final one. Okay. And that's compatible with the forge. I'll probably end up using that. Alrighty guys, I think that's gonna go ahead and do it. That wraps up the battle pass for I guess this is probably the second <coughs> excuse me, the second one until the Christmas one rolls around. But I want to thank you guys for stopping by, checking out this video. Make sure you guys leave a like, comment down below, share if you can. And if you guys are new to the channel or not and you want to see more, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos. Alrighty guys, take it easy, and as always, I will catch you guys in the next one.